All right, 507 Trimble here in Brookhaven. Just show you the street, a lot of split levels on this. We have some Colonials. Actually had two of them back there that I sold and one up on this street. So know the area well and uh, definitely under Mike Mahon here, Long and Foster. And uh, actually it's Nick's listing technically under them. But here we go. So driveway into the one car garage. We're gonna head inside. And the door was left open. So not sure if that was someone else before here, but we'll lock up. So in we go. Make sure no one's here. Hello, hello. All right, beautiful. Well, let's check it out. So big open space. Clearly at some point in time, a wall was taken down to open that up. And that makes it fantastic. So big kitchen. And just thinking of things down the road with this split, lip, split level model, sometimes people put sliding doors here and have a deck. But look at the finishes. Darker hardwood floors here, lighter paint. Looks like newer dual, uh, dual class windows. It smells really clean in here too. Hello. I see someone's shirt, so there might be somebody here. So coat closet. And that is the main level. So something else I wanna point out to you, there is recessed lighting if you look up. And a lot of it, by the way, which is nice. It really brightens us up. You got the white cabinets here, the gray ones there to the right, and it looks like you'll have to get your own refrigerator. Gas cooking. Let's see what else we have going on here. Okay, so no garbage disposal from what I can see. And that's the main level. So let's venture upstairs before we go downstairs. All right, so we got one, two, three, four. So let's go all the way over. Cool. So this will look out the backyard. I'll give you a nice shot of that. Looks like the neighbors in the back have fenced in yards. But carpet, I'm assuming there's hardwoods under here, by the way. Maybe we'll see in a closet. Or if one of these comes up easily, we can uh, spot check it. Cause that would be, you know, just beneficial to see what you're up against. Definitely newer carpet. And yes, if anything happens down the road, you do have original hardwoods, which is always nice. All right, I'll bring you back up. Dual closets in here. One recessed light in the center. I like what they did here. Add a bit of storage. I like how there's four bedrooms. So all should be roughly the same size. This one's looking at the side. All right. This one will give you a little bit more, you know, perception here. Depth perception with the bed already in there. I believe that's a, a queen or a full. Uh, but there we go. Looks like lights in the closet too, which is nice. And lots of extra shelves. All right, we'll bring you around. This is big. And then here's this bedroom. So lights in that closet as well. Light here too, I'll turn them on maybe. Oh, it's a lot of recessed lights, which is great. Updated bathroom, <laughs> kept some of the original tile and tub, but then updated, updated the rest and even put in crown molding here. So there we are. This should head up to the attic space and it does. So that's floored and really good for storage. Some of these split level homes, they actually turned that into a primary bedroom and raised the roof. Linen closet, all right. So that's the layout up here. Make sure we didn't miss anything. It looks like it's just that bathroom. We'll head on down, get a good vantage point of all of this. In the kitchen one more time, and then the basement. So really a lot of space. These homes don't look that big on the outside, but they are. This could be a bedroom. And by the way, split levels are deceiving. You have another basement under here too. So really a lot of room. This is a half bath that was updated. Oh, I gotta open this. I did this once before and over here was a shower. So not the case here, but yeah, it would be really tight. Just looking if somebody needs it. We gotta check out the bath. Well, this was left open too. I'm, I'm gonna lock up, just keep it safe. They got the lights here. That's beautiful. You could even close this in. If you wanted even more space. Yeah, these homes, 
have a lot of potential being a split level setup. So it looks like a big closet there. And then this should be the garage. All right, one car garage, one car would go to about here. So you really do have a lot of storage back there. Bonus fridge. And I don't think there's anything else in the garage. So there we go. Give one more glance at this room. Cool little nook there for TV or anything really. You do have an outlet. We'll bring you downstairs. And again, not to sound like a broken record. I know that happens sometimes. But this is the cool thing with split level. You have this whole other additional basement area. And I like what they did here. Not technically a finished basement, but pretty close. I mean, they finished some of the walls. They did that, they painted the floor. I mean, if somebody put vinyl plank flooring down in here, you know, my opinion, it would, uh, it would really pop. So this ties to the laundry room. And that's that bump out there where I said in the other room you could put a TV. Big doors here to give you plenty of access to the laundry. Electric dryer, by the way. And then a bonus area back here for storage, a mini office, you know, whatever you like. And keeps going. So this area is all by itself. Looks like a newer panel for the electric. 100 amp service. Appears to be all newer, newer, newer lines. Gas fed on this. This is a Goodman unit, pretty much industry standard. And that, we'll get a little closer to it. Here's your water heater, and it looks like the gas line's on the other side. So, nice how they keep everything separate. You really do have a lot of space. A lot, a lot of space. So I'm, I'm gonna leave this as I found it with the lights. There's probably another showing right behind me. And there we go. Spin you around, get every angle imaginable. Then we're gonna venture outside and do a 360 degree tour to the exterior. And while I'm here, I like that. That's pretty much, I got hand sanitizer on my hand. We'll clean that. Uh, this is flush, so I like that. I like how they finished that. Certain attention to details when people do renovations. You know, you can't really see them in the picture, but up close, they're, uh, they're apparent. And one thing I will note here, you have a dining area right here. This, if somebody wanted to change it, you could match it probably and have an overhang, and then you would have bar stools there. So they went with a cleaner look here. You know, all personal preference. But beautiful job. And again, my opinion, it's deceiving how large these houses are. Because <laughs> this is, this is big. So I'll spin you around. One last view of that. And there we go. We'll see you outside. So out the screen door. So newer concrete here, newer concrete there. And let's venture all the way around. That's a beautiful house. So around, let's see the siding. That is vinyl. It's vinyl, but it's painted, just so you know. So it was a different color before, where they just freshened it up. And here's the outside. It's a good, fairly level backyard. Roof appears to be somewhat newer. We'll get you to disclosure. That porch or patio area is pretty cool. And yeah, you can work with this flat backyard. There's the Goodman system that matches what we saw inside. Look at this. And as I mentioned, when I walked out there, you could kind of enclose that in there. Definitely screen it in if you wanted to. As always, check with the township. But here's what makes this house special. That other bedroom is an addition. So that whole area there was added on. You can see it's very similar to this house, but it doesn't have it. So that is awesome. All right, spin you all the way around. Leave uh, no stone unturned here. Now that is a big tree. I gotta go back to this space. This is cool. I like this. Definitely like this. You know, if somebody had Thoughts of a hot tub or something? I think this would be great because you have the overhead coverage. All right. Decent amount of space between the two houses. I guess if you wanted to down the road, check with the township, but you could make another lane for parking because right now you only have one. And who knows? Again, maybe you could even add another garage. 
if you ever needed or wanted to. You know, you gotta check with the township. But there we go. Nick, you got a beautiful listing here. And uh, tell you what, I'll leave you right there.